Hello and welcome to Kayaking for Autism's channel. Today we're going to learn how to make Delrin gears. You will need a stainless saucepan. You will need another pan for melting your Delrin. This is scrap Delrin I've got from a uh, old bagpipes factory. Thank you very much to the bagpipes factory who gave me this old Delrin. You will need a mould to pour your Delrin into. I've chosen this gear shape which I've made out of platinum catalyst. Here was the original gear designed by Nathan Seven, printed by Jesme and moulded by yours truly. This is a wax copy of a gear. Notice that the wax copy of the gear, although it's very good, it is also however very brittle and breaks easily. You will also need a digital thermometer. It's very important to keep track of the temperature so that you don't get smoke fumes. The oil smoke is far more deadly than the Delrin fumes. And also this stuff, avocado oil. If you use sunflower oil, it will smoke long before you reach the 175 degrees centigrade melting point of Delrin. Okay, you will also need for safety, a way of being able to lift it without burning yourself, some hot gloves. And just in case anything happens, you will need a fire extinguisher. Okay, let's get this uh, show on the go. Let's get this, um, yeah. So here we have the avocado oil. You don't need very much because once you put the basin in, it will, however, grow uh, considerably higher than that. But I think that's all you're going to need. And you can taste of avocado. Very nice. But we're not going to be eating it. We're going to be just using this as a uh, hot oil bath. The next stage, of course, is to put your Delrin into the avocado bath. Now we can test the temperature, moving that to one side and going into there and it registers about 18 degrees at the moment. We'll kick the oven on and we'll turn this one on setting 3 maybe. This here is a lid to keep the fumes in and to keep everything nice and cushy. Okay, and you need a little bit of a gap there so that you can register your temperature and you'll notice that the temperature should be steadily rising or you can do it on this side also we'll report back once the temperature's increased I'm going to put my gloves on now the oil bath is in the 65 range as you can see um, and also I think it's I ended up using all of the avocado oil because I think it's very important to float the um, uh, Delrin because um, the avocado oil is basically acting as my um, intermediary because if I look at the temperature here on the actual hob I'm getting readings in the range of 230 if I look at the oil which is slowly but surely heating up I'm probably now approaching 70, nearly 70 degrees and I really want to be getting that bath pretty much exactly 175 to 180 degrees centigrade and it puts not, makes all the heat go around the, uh, the floating pan nicely and that's what I'm trying to do here we've now gone over the 100 limit we've still got another something like 70, 70 degrees or so to go um, at this point if there were any water in it it would go psh violently uh, it's not really possible to really do a hot water bath um, to melt Delrin, you really need to use something like avocado oil. I'm approaching the 120, 130 mark. Um, I've turned the setting down to setting 2, and um, yeah, I just basically don't want to put too much heat in it too quickly. And as soon as I reach the melting point, I'm going to turn the oven off, turn it off altogether, and just uh, allow it to do its business. Also, I think it really helps so that you can get an even temperature if you just basically sort of like stir the pat, pan round like that, and then you get a better temperature reading. And then we'll go again. Ooh, I think we're reaching the 140 range. We're approaching the uh, melting point. I 
I've been stuck at an equilibrium point for a while now where I've sort of like reached a sort of a barrier where I can't seem to get any hotter than about 140, 150 region. And um, where is it? There, see? And what I've had to do is I've had to crank the temperature again up again to setting 4 because I think that uh, even though I'm trying to heat it, um, when it gets to certain temperatures it cools off more quickly. So I'm in here and as you see I'm in about the... hmm getting quite spurious results. There we go, about 160. So I'm about 10 degrees away from uh, Delrin's melting point now. We've now gone above Delrin's melting point and it should be starting to melt, especially in the oil. I've turned the temperature down to, uh, set, well the cooker on to setting one now, so hopefully that should uh, have a knock-on effect. But yeah, I'm, I'm well within the range of the melting point now. And also, now I'm at 475. You can hear it's starting to crackle, but it's not giving off like loads and loads of really toxic fumes. There's a couple of um, fumes coming off, but it's not like really, really bad. I mean, I can sit in the same room and all I can smell really is the quite nice uh, um, odour of the av avocado oil. And it's not smoking, it actually smells quite nice. So it's key now to just make sure that I keep that temperature stable for a while so that the Delrin melts nicely. Also note that despite the temperature of the oil being in the 180s, 190s maybe, the actual can itself is still only 150 odd. So it takes a while for the Delrin to absorb all of the heat. Okay, we're approaching 200 degrees centigrade. The smoke point of avocado oil is 271 degrees centigrade, so it's a good 100 degrees higher than the uh, Delrin. Um, however, when I take the uh, the lid off, inside the Delrin itself isn't actually. Uh, it seems to be quite has quite strong insulative properties. I'm not quite sure if that little um, cloud that came off was the coolant remaining from the CNC machine, or whether or not it was uh, actually formaldehyde. I mean, it doesn't smell particularly pleasant, but as I said, like, uh, the bottom of that pan there is only reading about 140, so the bottom of the pan itself hasn't quite reached the 175 yet. But I'm happy enough to keep the oil itself at 200. So I reckon setting 2, setting 1, it's going to keep the temperature nice and constant. Maybe I'll put that down to setting... Now, setting 2 is probably going to be fine. The Delrin is definitely starting to melt. It doesn't smell pretty. Have a look definitely on the melting spectrum. I'm going to put the lid on that and go outside because it doesn't smell nice. This has been on for hours. I'm going to call it a time. As you see the oil is now at 200. I had it too high earlier. Malted del red. Not good. I'm going to call it a day for, for now. Um, it turns out that even avocado oil, you can get it to smoke and it will sting your eyes with the acrolin or whatever it's called when you break down the glycerol molecules. Um, yeah, don't keep your thing on setting 4 for too long because I did an infrared sensor on the actual hob and it was about 300, well above that of the smoke point of um, Delrin. I think you've really got to have it on setting, th setting 4 to start off with then go down to setting 3 once your oil reaches about 200. Um, I'm going to have another go tomorrow. I have to stop now because we have to get supper ready. It's 9 o'clock at night. I started really late because I had to recharge my camera batteries. Stay tuned for part 2.